Hey guys, it's Friday and it's just before a bank holiday weekend, which is pretty nice. Lots of barbecues to look forward to. It's Nimistak and I'm back with you today to show you the fourth coin in the highly successful Music Legends series from the Royal Mint. And I've got two coins to show you today, so, so uh, stay tuned. Let's start off by showing you the gold, um, the gold one ounce coin, which is the first um, of the gold coins, the big gold coins to be released. So I don't know how many of you guys are fans of The Who. I remember going to see them in the late 1970s at Wembley. And I remember it was the most deafening concert I've ever been to in my life. I don't think my ears recovered for kind of months after that particular concert. Um, although, you know, when I was at school in the 70s, there was a great big music scene and uh, I was at school in Highgate, uh, Hampstead in London and uh, it was the home of all the, the kind of great music stuff including Madness and the Stranglers and a few kind of bands. Um, but I never really got into The Who terribly well. Um, it was just that one time I went to see them. But, uh, you know, I guess it's cool going once anyway. So in the Royal Mint package, you've got a nice little brochure here, the same way as they do for all of their kind of commemorative coins, showing the histories of all of the, the lead uh, players in The Who, including uh, Keith Moon, the drummer who unfortunately died um, in 1978, very, very early. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, a very talented band, great reputation, and uh, 100 million album sales. Um, you know, I mean, clearly there were a load of fans. You know, they produced Quadrophenia, Pinball Wizard. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting band, interesting story. I was thinking they might do the Spice Girls or Banana Rama or the Beatles, but they chose The Who as their fourth. I believe this is also their final one in the series, although never say never with the Raw Mint. Uh, it's quite likely that there will be some other kind of series uh, just when you think it's safe to go back in the water. There's a whole other load of coins that come out just keeping it going uh, for the next uh, next series. So what they've done is they've released a uh, the regular versions of these coins and uh, that's what they've been doing for the last couple of releases. Uh, they do an enhanced version of this design as well that will be out with a two ounce gold coin and a two ounce silver coin. Um, so this first one is the non-enhanced version. The gold one ounce coin actually has a pretty low mintage and I think that these coins have been very popular on the secondary market because of the low mintage. And the raw mint really do need to make sure these mintages stay small to interest collectors. Uh, I think that once they start ramping up the mintages, um, a lot of collector interest goes uh, straight the way off. And uh, so really there needs to be a little bit of a kind of excitement and uh, demand for these coins. You know, there are a lot of new releases throughout the world. There are a lot of Royal Mint new releases. This particular series is probably a little more successful than some of the others. For example, the Mr. Man release, or maybe Winnie the Pooh, or some, you know, there's a whole load of kind of releases that don't quite capture the imagination of the collectors. And, uh, but the Music Legends is one of those that has captured the imagination. Uh, maybe not quite as popular as the Queen's Beast Completer coin recently, not quite as popular as the Three Graces release, but still right up there. And uh, I think it's actually really nice. I kind of like the, uh, the guitar design. I like the pinball built into the guitar. I think the more you look very closely at this, some people have said it's a little bit flat, but I actually think that, um, you know, it probably is a tiny bit flat compared to the enhanced version, which is coming out soon. But there's still a lot of interesting detail at the back of that guitar. I think it's, uh, you know, they've captured it pretty well. I wanted to show you two versions of this coin in the video, and you you'll see the colorized version soon. Um, because the colorized version, I think, is the, the, the version that the Mint have done maybe the best in, in the series. Uh, all of the colorized coins have been pretty good. The designs come to life when they're colorized. Uh, maybe it looks a little bit flat on the gold version. But, you know, look at this coin. I mean, I think this is a really, really nice coin. 
These have proved pretty popular in the secondary market. The only thing that puts me off these coins is the mintage, which is, uh, I think, seven and a half, eight thousand coins. It's a pretty high mintage. But then again, it's not an expensive coin to buy. And a lot of these coins are going to go into the hands of collectors and uh, you know, people who, who are going to keep these forever. Uh, very few of them will end up in the hands of flippers. There probably won't be a huge numbers of 70s in the secondary market. So that's it for me with the uh, the latest Music Legends release. There'll be more from me very soon. And if you like the, the video, then please do click on the like button, click on the subscribe, hammer it or push it, push it, or kind of do whatever you want with it. But just please like and subscribe.